Today we are reviewing the new FLIR i34 and i64 cameras. Taking a quick look at the body style, we see we have a nice rubberized exterior that will hold up to harsh environments, and an easy to hold one-handed grip style with a single image capture trigger activated by the index finger. It comes with a single multi-purpose autofocus lens that holds a 38 degree by 49 degree field of view capable of panel inspections through IR windows or general purpose infrared inspections. Battery pack is the same style as the EXX camera series from FLIR, meaning the new IXX batteries will be backwards compatible to the EXX cameras, but the older style EXX batteries will not be forward compatible. They have a simple pinch and hold release to eject or insert batteries from the bottom of the handle. These cameras feature a 5 inch touchscreen that integrates the classic FLIR thermal camera operation, but now with a new app based operating system that users may be familiar with using on tablets and smartphones. When analog buttons are needed, the camera has classic four-way directional buttons, as well as select, menu, back, and power buttons. The power button has two functions, a simple one touch to put the camera to sleep or to wake up from a sleep or power saving mode, as well as clicking and holding for several seconds to open the full shutdown or restart functions. The i64 model comes in an impressive 640 by 480 resolution and the i34 model comes in a 320 by 240 resolution. Getting into the operation of the camera, we'll open the camera module to open up our classic FLIR infrared camera interface. This will look familiar to experienced FLIR users with a few modifications. You'll see we have our image scaling on the right hand side, as well as spot temperatures and readouts on the top. Our menu is activated by the three buttons at the bottom of the touchscreen or by using the analog select button. In our menus, we can change our recording mode from still image to a video recording able to pull radiometric temperature data from still frames. Next, we have the ability to change from auto scaling to a manual temperature scale. A wide variety of parameters can also be modified which will feed into our image reporting. Object distance, atmospheric temperature, relative humidity, reflected temperature, and emissivity are all able to be modified. The emissivity menu has also been improved to provide presets for matte or semi-matte surfaces, as well as preset settings for different materials or a custom emissivity value. Next, we get into our thermal imaging modes. Users can select a standard thermal image display, which will create an image using only infrared data, or users can toggle to the popular FLIR thermal MSX mode. Users may also select a picture-in-picture -picture mode layered with a digital image or standard digital camera image. Next, we have options for on-screen temperature readouts. A center spot will provide temperature data in the top corner, or that can be deselected to remove any on-screen spot temperatures. We also have the ability to add a hot spot box or cold spot box, which will provide a larger window for users to locate and read out the hottest temperature within the frame of reference. Modifying the size of the box is easy to do by clicking and holding the corner of the rectangular frame and resizing as needed. There is also a delta or temperature difference setting to provide users the ability to see the difference between a single spot compared to the maximum temperature within a hotspot box for more real-time analysis of temperature differences. It is easy to toggle back to a standard center spot when done using more complex overlays. Our color palette menu is last, where users can toggle between classic iron color palettes to palettes such as rainbow, high contrast, black and white. The IXX camera makes it very simple to toggle into an isotherm or above alarm or below alarm setting, which allows users to clearly see when a temperature is above a targeted alarm point by displaying bright red in a field of black and white. Additional buttons are available to expand the screen to a full image to remove the bottom menus or to hide the display overlays if users wish to use the full 5 inch screen for capturing infrared images. At the bottom of the screen, there is also a shortcut key to toggle between auto and manual temperature scaling, which would allow very fast access to FLIR's one-touch level and span functions by tapping on a point of reference to automatically adjust the boundary temperatures in manual mode. Using the shortcut key, we can also quickly toggle back to automatic temperature scaling. Also at the bottom of the screen, we have a switch for the front-facing lamp to provide users visibility in dark environments as well as a switch to activate the laser pointer function. Lastly, I am demonstrating how the analog buttons on the right of the camera can be used to access the same menus 
as well as use the home button to return us to the main home screen. Back on the home screen, we can access our library of saved images, which can be organized individually or contained within individual folders. Clicking into an image, I can click the edit button to do additional on-screen post-processing of common parameters that would often be modified prior to image capture. These do not have to be modified here and instead use our post-processing software, but a user could quickly adjust the color palette, distance, hotspot boxes, emissivity, or other things instead of having to wait until later. When done, the image can be saved and the user can return to the home screen. Next, we'll look at the onboard Flare Ignite post-processing software. This is a mobile version of the web-based Flare Ignite software. Once you sign into your account, you will have access to folders and images that are synced either via cloud or direct upload from your computer to the software. Clicking into an image, you can see the spot temperatures or notes that are saved currently to the image and any other key information that is referenced to highlight key findings. When I click the edit button, I can now add or modify a significant amount of things such as hotspot boxes or individual spot temperatures. We can modify the color palette, image mode, trends, isotherms, or anything else that we would typically modify to get our image ready for reporting. The image can be saved and we can either move on to additional images or prepare for reporting while still on our handheld camera. The FLIR Ignite reporting module is available by selecting the top left menu button and accessing the report screen. Next, we will click into the Asset Link application, which is FLIR's new asset management software, helpful for route creation and historical trending. Routes can be created in your account and synced to the camera by logging into your account. Information is sorted by organization, workspace, and site. Back on the home screen, I am now clicking into the settings menu. From here, we can manage accounts, update firmware, update date and time or display settings, battery and power saving settings, or a host of different measurement unit settings. Our temperature range can be toggled for high temp applications, with the i64 maxing out at 1022 degrees and the i34 maxing out at 842 degrees. Under Save Options, we can choose if we want to add text annotations or modify the way our images are saved. Wi-Fi and Bluetooth network settings are available towards the bottom, as well as product information and the ability to perform a factory reset. Lastly, we will look at the menu for using additional third-party apps that have been proven in the field to maximize efficiency and improve workflows. Installed apps will show up in the installed app category, while available apps such as Conduit, Envelope IR, Thermodoc, or Multisense 7313 are able to be selected. Each of the applications will have you download the app to your camera and then log into your user account begin using as if you were on a tablet or a smartphone. At the very bottom of the home screen is the Files menu, where we can manage or delete all files, not just thermal images, that are held on the device. IND Technologies is a reliability equipment supplier that provides training, product demos, and distribution of tools across the reliability industry. If you have any questions or need pricing, support, or would like to purchase an IXX camera of your own, please reach out to us at the contact info here. We work with many companies across a variety of industries and are looking forward to helping you improve or establish your inspection practices. Visit us at our website, www.ietechnologiesllc.com for more info about how we can help your group.